And ever since face masks were first introduced inside our schools during the pandemic, there's been a debate nationwide on how helpful or how harmful they could be. Tonight, our Verify team is taking a closer look. Millions of kids will be including a mask with their first day of school outfit in the coming weeks. So today we're talking common child masking rumors. Let's verify. Our sources today are the American Academy of Pediatrics, Wolfson Children's Hospital, and Johns Hopkins Children's Hospital. There have been concerns about how masks affect a child's breathing, stating masks reduce oxygen intake and trap harmful levels of carbon dioxide that are breathed out. The American Academy of Pediatrics says masks are made from breathable materials and will not block oxygen your child needs. Also, carbon dioxide molecules are so small they can't be trapped by a breathable material like face masks. Wilson Children's Hospital pediatric infectious disease doctor Mobin Rathor. There is no increase in carbon dioxide. You know, there's no detrimental effect of the mask in any way way, shape, or form. For these reasons, we're going to verify this claim as false. Next, some claim masks will interfere with a child's lung development. Dr. Rathor says masking up will have no effects on a child's lung development. Children are not deprived of oxygen. It flows through and around the mask. The barrier blocks respiratory droplets that are too big to penetrate the mask. For these reasons, we're going to verify this claim as false. What could hurt your child's lung development is COVID-19 itself. With your Verify, I'm Jocelyn Howard.